Hey everybody, Jack Boyles with Steam Engines U.S. And today, French Drain Project continues. Uh, we're making a lot of progress now. All my digging is done. This is the left side of the house. We've got it. I'm going to spin this around here. We've got it weatherproofed, as you can see. Put down all new weatherproof material, painted at the lip of the foundation. Uh, that I just did this morning and uh, the sun's come out and it's baking it in so that's looking great and then over here this is what we did yesterday so now I'm ready for putting the pipe in so I'm gonna show you what we got all right so this is my 8 inch pipe as you can see it's pretty big Pipe. this is gonna be the one to go on the front wall of the house and I got some more pipes out there but they don't make 8 inch pipe with holes so I don't know if you can see this but I have drilled holes see all the little holes all the way down this thing a couple hundred of them probably and it's all the way around and I used a uh, half inch bit and then these are my couplers so this one's a little bent a little bit but I'll bend it back into place now this one's gonna go on the end basically like that down to the six inch and then this one it's my 90 degree elbow this thing right here is about 80 bucks <laughs> it's gonna go on this end pointing up and it'll come up beside the porch so once I get this in the ground we'll wrap it in the geo fabric then put it down in there and then burrito wrap it with rock like we did the rest of the property um, and cover it up so these are <laughs> just the uh, pieces of the little plastic holes that I've dr drilled out just adding this one pipe so I've got this pipe done and I've got that other pipe over there sticking up right there so we'll get those two done I have my both my end pieces my elbows and we'll be ready to drop these in the ground and I'll probably do that this afternoon because it is hot again today so make pretty good progress coming along um so it's a pretty big project <laughs> i've done oh most of it myself but i've had some help uh, with a few people but we're getting it done so a little bit uh maybe within a couple days i'll be completely finished with this and uh glad of it too so but we should never have another drainage problem here at this house um, and it's kind of nice to see we've lived here five years and we've remodeled this property and basically we're we're going to put it up for sale soon um, but we've made basically lots of tons of upgrades remodeled the inside and this was a water issue with this property it would just say kind of soggy in different places um, and uh, water would come in when it rained really hard would get water seeping through the wall and uh, so a lot of people wanted to put like sump pumps in drill a hole inside the house and put a pump in your basement well our basement's finished you know the floors walls everything so that wouldn't work for our situation uh, so the only other way to fix this problem is to let nature fix it for you and to create a runoff a natural runoff so all the water coming onto a property would collect in the french drain and then naturally run away so that's what we've done and uh, we'll walk back up here and take another look at it all right so that eight inch pipe you just saw i'm gonna have geofabric line the bottom here it's gonna lay down in there i'll hacksaw this corner six inch pipe off it'll connect to our coupler go all the way down and then the elbow will turn and go up beside the porch um, and so this side's ready I'm ready to put the pipe in on this side 
and the right side I gotta haul this dirt away my massive pile back there and um, we just have to let this dry for a day take a look at it make sure it's just sealed perfectly no gaps or nothing like that on the wall uh, if it is I put two coats on this on both sides um, then I'd put a third but I think we're looking good right now and uh, with a little bit of luck a little bit of weather working cooperating with us we should have this one in the ground tomorrow um, this is my six inch pipe I'll actually tie it in right here and I have a uh, a Y that I'm gonna put kind of about right here that angles up and I'm gonna tie in this drain so this drain right here off the gutter um, it's actually gonna tie right into that six inch and I've got a four to a six and right over there's my four so I'll probably tie this four in connect it to the six inch into the drain and it'll empty and flow away so that'll be looking good um, I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side as well so make sure I can pick up my gutters now a lot of people a lot of the professionals out there will say do not tie your gutters your roof water in with your French drain but again they're using four inch pipe I'm using eight inch and six inch for this whole thing so um, it will not cause me any problems uh, the way I've got this done so if you're wanting to tie in all the drains to your property run them in a French drain out the back of your property go with a bigger pipe costs a little bit more okay but it's well worth it uh, in the long run so from high point north carolina thanks for watching steam engines usa have a great day